Juan Carlos Oblitas is one of the legends of Peruvian football, now the coach of Sporting Cristal. He can look back on a playing career that lasted almost 20 years and took him to Europe and Mexico. He played for his country 63 times on the left wing and went to two FIFA World Cups. His first was in Argentina in 1978. It turned into a roller coaster ride that mixed success with controversy. But as they emerged for their opening match with Scotland, few expected much of them in what was considered a very tough first round group. We had Scotland. They were many people's favourite to get to the final. And we also had Holland. They were known as the Clockwork Orange. There was Iran too. The truth was that the ones with the smallest chance of getting through that group were Iran and us. The Scots took the lead within 15 minutes. Joe Jordan capitalising as Peru's keeper, Quiroga, fumbled. And it looked like that would be that. We were losing the match, and it was a very hard match. They had a centre-forward, Jordan, who would take out his dentures to play. He had a very rough-looking face, but it was incredible how quickly he would get forward. He was a very good player. Kennedy marked me, I remember it well, and we started the match badly. But Scotland, unsure of what their South American opponents had to offer, lost the initiative as Oblitas and midfield general Teofilo Kubias ran riot. Coeto equalised before two Kubias strikes gave Peru a famous 3-1 victory. In the end, we relaxed and we won the match very well. And then people started to look at Peru in a different light. After that, we went to Mendoza. The first match was in Córdoba and we drew 0-0 with Holland. But we really should have won that match. They concluded their group against Iran and took the Asian qualifiers apart by four goals to one. Peru had finished top of a group in which they'd been expected to struggle. And for only the second time, they'd reached the last eight of a FIFA World Cup. But now the doubts crept in. Faced with another group, this one containing Brazil, Poland and Argentina, they suddenly looked out of their depth. Brazil beat them 3-0 and Poland by a single goal. Which meant that when they met Argentina in Rosario, Peruvian thoughts were already turning to home. Argentina, meanwhile, had to win by four goals to reach the final. The crowd were expectant. So was Argentina's president, Jorge Videla, who took a close interest in the match. There was no pressure on us, but yes, Videla did come in to see us. I was changing and I didn't give it much importance. I gave it much more importance later when I thought about it. And I also recognised Kissinger in the group. That's why it got my attention. Because I was changing, putting some strappings on and just making preparations, and then they came in and talked. But then I saw Kissinger and I thought, what's Henry Kissinger doing here? They came in both before and after the match, but they spoke about being brothers playing football as it should be. That was all they spoke about. They didn't speak about anything else. Peru actually hit the post before Argentina took complete control. Kempes scored the first. Tarantini nodded a second, and only Peru's Argentine-born keeper, Ramon Quiroga, prevented more goals before half-time. Shortly after the break, Kempes made it 3-0. One more goal, and Argentina would be in the final. At that moment, you don't realise what's happening. There's only the shame of losing by so many goals. You don't realise the significance. Only 50 minutes had been played when Luque scored the fourth, and just for good measure, Argentina kept on scoring. They won 6-0 and were in the final. Brazil, pipped on goal difference, cried foul. But according to Oblitas, the reason for the result isn't that mysterious. 
The only thing I can say is that it was an abnormal result for the time. It was abnormal because although Argentina might have been superior to Peru, they weren't so superior that you would expect them to win 6-0. But I want to tell you something I've mentioned before about our defects. The problem that we have, even today, is that when we had that great first phase, once it was all over, we were totally deflated. It was like that by finishing first in the group, we already felt we were world champions and nothing else mattered. That's the truth, the whole truth. Argentina went on to become world champions for the first time. But by the time that happened, the Peruvians were already safely back home.